Hey guys, it's that time. It's pretty much the time that you guys have all been waiting for. Uh, the new Gundam Verkal Mechanical Clear Version review. Um, this is actually the complete. It's completely done. Um, this kit uh, is completely done. I actually forgot to put on this uh, shielding gun, um, but it's completely done. And now let's go. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go over it and see what any of the bad parts, good parts, and just all around how uh, this kit is. Uh, so uh, let's get right down to it. Well, actually, first off, I actually never built the original Verka with just normal armor colors and everything. So, but. It's, this is pretty much exactly the same kit. It's just clear armor. The frame's the same. Everything else is the same. So, uh, but uh, let's first like, let's look at the actual armor. Completely done. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's the funnels. Completely clear. And then we got, we're going, let me see, get the head. Torso, we got the shield right there. The shield's really cool. It's still clear. Um, it clips on nice, and it's actually quite sturdy. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that it clips onto the uh, the back of the arm, and it's I don't know. It's kind of weird. So you have because he has to hold his arm kind of sideways in order to use it. So I particularly don't not fond of the shield. So I usually like to have it off. It also doesn't show off the uh, awesome detail on the arm. So, just get, keep going down. Showing off the leg with that really nice detail. And there's the weapon. He actually holds it uh, really nicely because it has that cool new uh, double pin system. Um, it's a little uh, weird because actually the his wrists aren't quite strong. So when I pretty much lift it up and then straighten out the thing, the wrist just the rest is droops, so kind of a bummer, but it's a uh, really nicely done gun, really cool, and obviously, and again with the shoulders. Uh, art, uh, let's take this guy off. Articulation-wise, the hands, uh, the fingers are, arti are artificially are completely articulated. Uh, see, there's the actual. Oops. I don't know if you can see it. The the hands have this peg uh, on them, and then the actual weapon has another peg on it, and then it slides into there, and it's actually quite secure fit. So, but uh, these hands are really nice. Uh, really nice. And keep it this actually fully a fully articulated hand. Uh, the elbows are double jointed. Let me zoom out a little bit. The elbows are double jointed, and they uh, pretty much have that this range of movement. So there you, go. you can see actually the inside of the arm. So. 
uh, as he's actually quite sturdy uh, for being how uh, big he is. So, but as you can see, there's a lot and lots. As you've seen throughout the entire work in progress, there is just lots and lots and lots of detail in this frame. And yeah, as everybody's uh, noted, that these uh, flimsy, these flimsy funnels aren't, they didn't fix them at all. They still stay, they still fall off easily, uh, but uh, they still look really nice, completely cleared. Uh, if you haven't noticed, they actually did take out all the uh, silver parts. Besides the ones that actually need to connect to the other funnels. So, I'm actually going to keep those over to the side. And we can actually check out the rest of this kit. Uh, just, uh, like I was saying, the detail on this is amazing. Uh, even more so since with the clear version, everything just pops when you have... If you do a slight detail work with some Sharpie markers, 100% everything just pops and looks completely amazing. So. Um, the articulation is still same great thing as a master grade. You have a piston inside that wor that works. Almost a full uh, one eighty. A, a full like full knee bend. It's double jointed, so it looks really nice. Uh, you also have. This part right here, you can lift up, and then this part lifts up as well. So, an extra part in the thrusters, like extra thrusters, so you can get extra firepower. So. This one is one hefty kit. Hit the camera, but he still feels extremely solid, except for the. Uh, The funnels, uh, which just I completely just took off. So okay, there you go. Fix that. Uh, but otherwise, this guy, if he without the funnels, this guy feels completely solid, a hundred percent. From the backpack to the waist and everything, you got a waist level. Oops. <laughs> Waist swivel, head swivel, you have 360 degrees. You have a really nice up, really nice down. It actually helps with this, the uh, neck joint right here. It's actually not attached. It actually will look up and move to make it actually more of a realistic head, you know, head tilt. And actually will push down as well. I don't know if you noticed that, my uh, I painted a lot of the clear parts, all the clear parts that's supposed to be psycho frame, and as well as the eyes, uh, completely blue, uh, so it actually came out really nice, and you can actually see the eyes kind of glowing from the light piping that is in this kit. So. It's pretty cool uh, view is actually of this. So. But like I was saying, the detail is amazing. You actually can open the cockpit 
I haven't actually tried, but you can open the cockpit. You can kind of see in there, but not really. Otherwise, I, this kit is a definite uh, pickup for anybody who likes the new Gundam. Uh, the, art, the articulation is amazing. The detail is just astonishing. Uh, you can actually transform this kit uh, to expose all the psycho frame. Yeah, this is actually a completely new uh, setup that I'm trying. Uh, to do reviews because the really the top down doesn't really cut it for most of, for the most part when you're trying to show off detail or something of that matter. But yeah, like I said, if you have the means to get this kit, definitely pick him up. He is really cool. Uh, the detail on him, is, as I keep saying, is just spectacular. Uh, I was I was going to you can actually transform him. Um, which will then, in the normal version, which will then expose all the psycho frame. But I'm not going to actually transform him because the fact that you can actually see all the psycho frame that's in this kit from here to here, in the chest, shoulders, in the arms, in the legs. You can actually see what all this psycho frame is, where it is in the body, and if you get the normal one, you know, you can just tell it'll just it'll just be a really cool one uh, once you put it all together. Um, so uh, let's actually get some uh, size comparisons in here and see how this guy actually stacks up. Okay, let's get the size comparisons down. Uh, it's actually as much as I can zoom out since actually new Gundam is quite huge. Uh, but here we go. Uh, first off, we're actually going to show off via a high grade. So. Uh, here he is with my custom Astray Gundam. Ast Astrea, sorry. Gundam. He's pretty much the size of two high grades. Normal size high grades. Then we have, I'm going to have him next to Flitz Gundam. Yes, this is the, col this is the uh, colloid version, the clear version. He's actually about... Let me actually adjust the camera slightly. Pretty much see the height difference. Uh, here, this is actually a normal master grade. Um, average height. And new Gundam itself is just quite huge. I actually do not use the funnels because they're kind of, you know, if you use a funnel straight up, it's, it's the same size as new Gundam. And now, actually, this is the one that people have been asking about. We will compare new Gundam to the Zerf Star. And as well to the Blitz, since they're pretty much the same size, uh, same type of Gundam. So you pretty much see the comparison between Master Grade New Gundam or Car right here, Master Grade Blitz Gundam, and then uh, Mechanic Cars uh, Zerstor, which is you know completely this almost like towers over uh, New Gundam right there. And then just pretty much it for this review, uh, definitely. Uh, pick up this guy if you have the means. He's actually gone on sale a few times from a few vendors. Uh, HLJ I know had him on sale as well as Amazon and Gunna Planet, I believe it was as well. Um, so definitely get him when you can, if you can. Uh, this version is actually uh, available, I think, still. Uh, it actually just came out recently from the Shizuoka Hobby Show. They re-released it. So you might be able to get them for a decent price. Uh, and until next time, guys, uh, Steven saying keep building and keep playing.